There's so much to this game. It, there's there's just so much in this game. I've only gotten that once before. Library. That's what that sign spelled. Let's library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page limit yet? Or page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Bullet's a creature. It's a D&D &D reference. A bullet is a... Basically a other name for it is a land shark. Oh, okay. I got it now. Okay. Here I am, writing this book. Person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. That's a terrible joke. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's send the chapter here. Do you want me to continue on with that, what they were talking about? That's up to you. Thus, if a person with a stronger soul is attacked and has a desire to kill, they and they actually do kill, their LB goes up, meaning love. That's what the LB stands for. EXP, extermination points. That's why we don't get any. Because we don't kill anyone. Or have a desire to kill. Yeah. Speak for yourself. I want to kill Papyrus. I know. That's why I took over. <laughs> Monster history. This was not going to be a pacifist <laughs> run if I kept up with that long, much I know. longer. I mean, after that point, you didn't really talk to him much after that. Until, like, the very end, but. Thank God. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamplands, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. Okay, so... Again, our king is really bad at names. Well, at least I know what's coming up next. We've got a swamp and a desert. Not really. What? That's what they just said! Swamp, Sir hot lands... Or no, what was it? Freezing cold... We'll read this in okay. Searing heat. It doesn't say... I said desert. Searing heat. It's either desert or a volcanic basin. Yay. Alright. Do this last one and get on with this. Love... Hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. I mean, some of them haven't, but yeah, they don't, I don't need I don't want to talk to these people. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers... Oh, this is the old lady. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. 
But live for you. Yeah. I love working in the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. And again, bully for you. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Moving on. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. This is Sans and Papyrus's house, of course. Yep. It's locked. Alright, that just takes us back. I don't want to do that. It's locked from the inside. Hoping to go in through the back door? They don't have a back door. Then what was locked? Something. Oh dear god, here we go again. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Allow me to tell you about something come about some complex feelings. Somehow I feel like you're an old friend. Even though I've never actually met you before. I can't explain why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? I have many social media connections. It's hard to keep track of them all. Just a dozen more and I'll finally reach double digits. Hey, wait a second. You can't be my friend. You're human. I can't believe you almost tricked me into not defeating you. Whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> God, it's fucking words. <laughs> so that's not the usual dialogue there. Because we remember when we had technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, we had to go back. Yep. That is because we went back on the same... Or uh, we went back on the same file. Okay, let's get this fight over with with papyrus. <laughs> what? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you. Get what to do. So you don't- uh, so you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! barrier today. And my power bomb in his ear. <laughs> oh my god, that was a thing! Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. <laughs> no. 
No! I can almost taste my future popularity. Damn it. <laughs> You. <laughs> Attraction slime behind his ear. <laughs> uh. you oh. <laughs> beauty yogurt? Yeah. They behind some wait, beauty yogurt behind his ear? I forgot he does that. And, and the MTT, he slid, he puts everything behind his ear. There's a paralleled spaghettator. <laughs> he realizes he doesn't have ears. Issues. I am. She's terrifying. You're a skeleton. You shouldn't have one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fingers, please. My brother? Well, well, he won't change very much. At least he understands his brother. Oh, yeah. Having issues. I am. Um, I'll have lots of admirers, but. <laughs> what you need to t use a. Yeah, I know. Will anyone like me sincerely as much as you? I can't even today. Wow. Yeah, and you got the words in that said it's wrong. You know what? <laughs> I could have died. <laughs> Smells like bones. Uses, <laughs> Wait, uses, did I just read that right? Yes, you did. And then he might be kind of hard. Shit. <laughs> I'm just having loads of trouble today. Woohoo! <laughs> Speed! <laughs> you know what? I didn't get hit that time. You did? I'm proud of you. Like papyrus. We have an issue here.
also have laughed if I had hit it. So would I have. <laughs> well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yes, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. I'm done with you, Papyrus. Mm -hmm. I'm so done with you. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undan's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend call it quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? <laughs> really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except some one with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? They'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> now, is that really necessary? No. It's not necessary to go on to it? Yes. Why? That's how you get the pacifist friend. So you, you get the can... pacifist friend by not killing anybody. Right? You have to befriend everyone to get the pacifist friend. That's not pacifism. You get the neutral- Pacifism is not killing anyone. That's just what the fans labeled it as pacifism. Basically, befriend everyone. The neutral route <laughs> is where you just go through. You don't do the dates. You don't befriend anyone. That kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> So you came back to have a date with me? You must really be si you must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sons, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Okay. <laughs> yeah. You touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. So you just stole from them? 
Yay! It's great. Oh, it's my favorite t uh, game show. It says st to stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. It's a never ending loop. It's a quantum physics book. Because, yeah. <laughs> physics. Go in here. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it anytime! Right. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show! Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <coughs> Sons! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. It's a bone. Yep. Well, he's a skeleton. The door is locked. Can't you knock? Apparently not. Welcome to scenic my house. Did I read that? <laughs> right. What? Enjoy and take your time. Okay. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Let's see. It seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has dis besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. That would be his brother. Mm -hmm. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. My voice is slipping for him. That's perfectly fine. Isn't we can that shut neato? him up if you want it. No. Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah, hey, hey. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. I had to read that. How do <laughs> you generally how do, do I when you're reading? So many. What? I said you generally do when you're reading. I have most of these lines memorized. When when I mess up, it's because I don't have them memorized. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut on that one. Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! That 
that's my bed. And if I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Okay, let's get this date over with. Please, finally. <laughs> so, um, if you're, you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. <laughs> yes. Okay, dating stops. Oh, jeez. This is... Here we are, on a date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared, but that's several letters for my name. I snagged a, an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C on your keyboard for dating hub. Wowee, I feel so informed. Crime? There's a dog nearby. I think you're, we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, hi, the Grey Papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. <laughs> Step three. Put on nice clothes to <laughs> sh show you care. I'm hurting you, aren't I? <laughs> Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning! <laughs> no! You planned it all along! You're way better at dating than I am! No! no your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've been your best of me yet! I, the Great Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Yeah, yeah. What do you think of my great style? Secret style. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs. It's not what I clicked on, Papyrus. Just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? It's not like clicked on. My hat! My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But, oh! So wrong! This ain't... Where'd the ink come from, Papyrus? This ain't any old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in a no cask. 
then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love cooking! Yes, cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ugh! Ugh! No! Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say! It's all been for my sake! Human! I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you! I, Papyrus! I! Um! Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot! Human, I. I'm sorry! I don't like you the way you like me! <laughs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I am the great Papyrus. I have failed. <laughs> Just the look you're giving him right now is great. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark present of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. Yeah, hey, hey. Okay, I'm done with his voice. It hurts. Oh, and <laughs> damn. <laughs> If you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Ow. Okay, we done? Okay, good. Ow. Oh. Alright, so I think that's done for this episode. My face hurts now. Ow. sit right here and do it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that was great. Uh, there's our first dating simulation. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys had some fun. Because I surely didn't. My no, face hurts. <laughs> no. No. There was no fun. There was right. fun. No. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>